Hi, my name is Sylvie Martinez. I'm the co-author of Invent to Learn, Making, Tinkering, and Engineering in the Classroom. I'm here at the uh, ISTE 2014 conference in Atlanta. Um, I'm, uh, right now I'm working with a lot of schools in taking some of the lessons of the maker movement and applying them to classrooms all over the, the country, all over the world. Um, I think this is an interesting time in history and there's a lot of things that we can learn from the maker movement, this global revolution of people solving problems and taking over their own communities and uh, schools and using the tools of the maker movement and sharing their solutions and ideas on the internet. In my life, I started out as an electrical engineer and I still see the world through that lens of challenges to be solved and, and problems that are exciting and especially when you don't know the answers ahead of time. Uh, I've also been a game programmer, a, uh, a software d developer, a, um, a mom, a, uh, a nonprofit organizer with Generation Yes, which is about student leadership in technology, and now working with schools on the ideas of the maker movement. The idea of writing this book, Invent to Learn, was to help teachers remember some of the things that we know are good about, about um, learning. You go back to people like Piaget, Dewey, they all said that knowledge is born out of experience. Piaget said knowledge is a consequence of experience. John Dewey said that what the children do is how they learn. All of these things we know, we know that project-based learning creates opportunities for deeper learning. We know that these things work in the classroom. Sometimes we don't always do what we know works in schools. So the, I think the maker movement is another opportunity to capture some of these good ideas, plus really cool tools, really cool electronics and, and new physical computing projects. Physical computing is robotics, wearable computers, anything that con connects the physical world to the digital world, and bring those into the classroom to really enliven science and technology, but not just science and technology, also history and art, and give kids the opportunity to solve problems in the real world. So a, a lot of teachers ask me, you know, how, how do you know what to do? How do you tell uh, that this tool or this technology, or what do I do with a 3D printer, or what's this Arduino you're talking about, robotics? How do I work all these things into my classroom? Um, I think at the core, Teachers need to be very clear about what they believe about learning. And I can tell you what I believe about learning is I believe in something that Seymour Papert called constructionism. And the idea of constructionism is taking the Piagetian notion of knowledge as a consequence of experience and adding um, doing things outside of your head, things that are shareable. So you learn by adding experiences to the experiences you already have you're constructing knowledge. But what cements it in place is making things, they could be digital, they could be in the real world, making things and sharing them with others. And I think this idea of constructionism gives teachers a, or gives me anyway, a kind of a, a shield against just this barrage of stuff. You don't have to take every new fad into the classroom. You know, teachers hear this. It's like, we're going to blend and flip the classroom and we're going to teach like a pirate with our hair on fire and you know they're just like yeah whatever you know next year it'll be something else but i think if you have a strong belief in what you know about learning what you believe is best for your children you can sort of part the waters of all the stuff and say this is something i want to focus on i can use robotics because it's a tool for my children to think with to think math mathematically to think scientifically to teach things I'm trying to teach them in other ways. So this isn't an and. This isn't in addition to the science worksheet. It replaces the science worksheet because those worksheets are what's wasting time in classrooms. Kids do not learn vocabulary. You can't um, expect kids to understand something that they haven't already had some experience with. And working with these tools, especially these new amazing tools like electronics and wearable computing and 3D printing um, interests kids and engages them but also gives them the ability to, to dive deeper and to have a real purpose for their mathematics and a real purpose for the science we teach them.